So today it's going to be Brit Lord Michael uh, Farmer. So I hope you like the video. If you do, please like it. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And thanks very much for watching. <music> Hi, I'm Mark, and this is my journey through tarot. Come with. So this is part three of a four-part series, new four-part series, and uh, this is about the farmers, actually. So this is Lord Michael Farmer. Let's find out about this fella. Pretty interesting. So this fella, you know, uh, viewer asked a question about uh, Candace Owens, who married um, George Farmer, young son of Michael Farmer. And Michael Farmer has a very interesting history, as a matter of fact. I'll tell you about it. It's very short. In 1944, Michael Stahill... Farmer was born on December 17th at Tunbridge, uh, Kent, England. He's a, a Sagittarius and a businessman, a former treasurer of the Conservative Party, and a life peer in the House of Lords. Interesting. His father was a metals trader, and he died due to alcoholism, unfortunately, when Michael was four. And then uh, he just, uh, Michael described that he and his sister uh, had a violent and chaotic uh, early uh, childhood uh, characterized by poverty, neglect, and shame. And he and his sister were almost removed from their mother due to her own struggle with alcoholism. Uh, he was educated at Wantage uh, Grammar School as a boarder. Uh, in 1962, at the age of 18, he started work as a difference account clerk, difference account clerk, uh, and a messenger in a London uh, metal exchange firm for eight pounds a week. That's 1962. Now, in 1975, he married uh, Jennifer Potts in London, and they have three children. And in 1980, Farmer headed to Global Base Metal Trading uh, at his firm of employment. So he headed Global Base Metal Trading at his firm of employment. In uh, 1999, his trading company was floated on the London uh, Stock Exchange, and he founded Red Kite uh, Group, which provides mine finance and futures investment opportunities. So 2014, he uh, was created as a life peer and as Lord Farmer of Bishopsgate. Uh, and joined the conservative benches in the House of Lords. Uh, he, uh, his maiden speech was very interesting, as a matter of fact. His maiden speech it comes from his, his own history, you can tell, was about women's homelessness, domestic violence, and social exclusion. And he supports welfare and prison reform and was commissioned by the Ministry of Justice to carry out a review of how supporting men in prison to have better family and other relationships can reduce uh, reoffending uh, rates. So, very good. Farmer has spoken about family hubs and other measures to ensure uh, families receive early help for children leaving uh, local uh, authority care, improving young people's mental health and well-being by reducing family uh, breakdown and regulating access to pornography, uh, enabling upward social mobility and better life chances, and addressing the persecution of Christians in North Korea, the Middle East, and the United Kingdom. So pretty far-reaching uh, uh, initial speech. He introduced a bill uh, making family impact assessment statutory for all changes to government policy and spending and ensures government keeps track of the number of children who grew up with both their parents. Uh, he was an active vocal supporter of Brexit. And in 2016, he became the Christian Deputy Chair of the Council for Christians and Jews. And uh, in 2017, his sister, who's actress Susan Farmer, and she'll be the subject of the last video in this series, she died and apparently uh, alcohol related too. So let's see uh, what the cards tell us about Michael Farmer. Seems like he got a good, uh, difficult start in life, uh, has uh, good intentions, and this conservative party though for me, sometimes they just really go off on a tangent that can be so dangerous. Okay, so these are the Book of Toth, Le Livre de Toth by um, de Tallier, whose name is actually, uh, was actually, I think, Aliet, I think. So this was France. This is back in the mid uh, 1700s. And uh, Book of Toth is uh, the problem. The thing with these cards is that they don't uh, decipher like the typical Rider weight cards do. Rider weight cards. But uh, these are beautiful, but I mean, they're cryptic. So you've got to be comfortable in the divinations you're going to use for these. Um, so I don't use them very much, to tell you the truth. But I thought they'd be good for this. And, of course, this is just a good time to spread them out so you can see the cards, you know, what they look like. 
and uh, get a feel for what this deck's going to be like in just a minute. And uh, maybe you're going to uh, shoot some of your energy uh, across the uh, airwaves into this reading. Who knows? <laughs> but uh, so these are great cards. I like them, but they are hard to use if you don't use them every day, I think. So Lord Michael Farmer. Lord Michael Farmer. The Life Peerage. Very interesting. I mean, this is a fellow who's really brought himself up. Lord Michael Farmer. Let's see if he's a legit fellow. If he has, uh, it seems to have started off with the best interest of, um, of the downtrodden because that's where he came from. Um, his son, of course, has married this Candace Owens, who from America, who I believe she just is just looking for any leg up to get uh, famous. That's just how I feel about her. But Lord Michael Farmer, what is the deal with you, Lord Michael? One, two, three, four, five. Six. I just want to know if he's honestly doing what he thinks is the best for the country. That's what I'm interested to know about Lord Michael Farmer. Signifier card for him, then, is the Three of Wands. The um, Three of Wands is um, about long-term planning. So this is a good start, I think, uh, for this for this reading, you know, he's about long-term planning, and my question is, is he is he thinking about the good of the country? So that seems uh, appropriate, at least. The challenge to that long-term planning uh, is uh, the Two of Cups. You know, and the Two of Cups are, are lovers. Uh, they're um, joined together toward a common cause, uh, an impassioned uh, situation. So it looks like, uh, yeah, that his, his uh, joining together with the House of Lords for the good of the country. And it feels like this is what this is about, long-term planning for uh, his love of country. Uh, the base of this reading then, to whether he's the real deal, is the Nine of Cups. And the Nine of Cups is really just an overflowing of, um, of um, it's called the greedy merchant sometimes. So it's, it's someone who's ready to display their worth to the public. And he certainly uh, has done that. He's made an amazing life for himself in the copper uh, or in the metal business known as the King of Copper, and also with his invest, uh, his um, uh, company called Red Kite, which invests in futures. Uh, so this seems pretty legitimate so far. In the in the uh, past of this reading, for whether he's in, in the interest of the, con the country, is the Three of Cups, which is, are celebrations. Um, small celebrations, but impassioned, uh, heartfelt uh, celebrations. So I think, uh, so far, it seems like his, his mindset is in the right place. In the sky of this reading, then, is the... Ah, now, this is a difficult card. This card is specific to this deck. You won't find this repeated in another Toth deck or uh, in the Rider weight system. And this is about uh, fish and birds. Uh, it tells you about right here um, in this French uh, description. Uh, most This actually mentions a fish. But, um, so, for me, I'm going to say that, yeah, this uh, is an indication that his goal is to provide a uh, bounty uh, for those uh, who don't have it. I mean, and this kind of uh, seems like that in the most natural way possible. You've got someone who could walk out onto this bank. They've got plenty of bounty in the ocean or in this little stream, this little estuary, and uh, plenty of bounty here. So I think this, this is telling me that he's the real deal. The And it seems like he would have instilled that in his children. The... Um, likely uh, outcome for the first part of this uh, full Celtic cross for whether he's the real deal is this is the fool and the fool is still you know new journeys um without full knowledge of where you're going obviously so i think he's doing the best he can um with his knowledge of, uh, of what needs to be done for the country to help the downtrodden that's how i feel um i want to know i want to know if does he have uh, selfish evil intentions at all in his um, uh, workings in the House of Lords in government. The self of that uh, card, of that reading then, is, um, so he's the king of action, the king of wands. And so this king is going to make things happen. Um, and, you know, you have to think of a king as someone who's, who's uh, in, in the best of situations, is uh, 
looking out for his people. Because as long as the people like him, then he can stay in power. So he is right now the king of his actions. The uh, environment that that's in, however, is um, a big ace of coins. So yeah, it's the fact that he has been so successful that's brought him to this to this very privileged place in his life and in the government. Interesting. The hopes and fears for all of this then is going to be right here. And this is the nine of coins. And this is so nine of coins is always you know flush with uh, prosperity and and you know just everything that you need uh, to make your life a success. And uh, this is just a very good reading for this Michael Farmer. Um, and I want to remind you that I've undergirded it with uh, wanting to know if his intentions are honorable. And then the uh, likely outcome of the whole thing is the Six of uh, Swords. And the Six of Cords is doling. Uh, no, it's not. That's the Six of Coins. The Six of Swords. I'm going to have to remind myself about the Six of Swords uh, with my cheat sheet. Um, okay, that's moving out of troubled water. So the Six of Swords is typically moving from a place of, of instability to a place of more stability. And since this whole reading seems to have been geared towards his work for the downtrodden, I think that's really what he, where he wants to bring these people to a safer port. Um, I really like this reading on Michael Farmer. I think he's the real deal. Uh, so we'll stay with that. You know, sometimes these uh, readings are just very straightforward and right to the point, and I think this has been one of those. So I wanted to know, is, is he the real deal? Is he really looking out for the, for the public? And we start out with the uh, Three of Wands, which is long-term planning, and that seems to be where he's head at for the people. Um, it's uh, challenged by the Two of Cups, which is partnering uh, with someone uh, for a very emotional a very emotional partnering, as a matter of fact. And then the uh, base of that whole thing was the Ninety Cups, which is sometimes referred to as the Greedy Merchant in the Rider Waite system. This is not the Rider Waite system. This is an individual Toth deck, okay? But I think it still uh, speaks to the same thing, really using um, all that emotional uh, wealth that you've gathered uh, to propel yourself forward. And that seems to be exactly what he's done. And the past of this reading is the Three of Cups, and the Three of Cups are celebrations, emotional celebrations uh, on top of that. In the sky of this reading, we have the... Um, the uh, this card uh, I can't pronounce it because it's in French, so I'm not going to try to. But it speaks to uh, a bounty. It's talking about uh, in the word poissons, which is a fish. And you'll notice here that in this uh, little depiction here, we have in this uh, stream uh, loaded with fish and bounty and, and birds and everything that you'd need to f make a living for yourself. If you were, um, you know, if that's all you had to do with is go to nature. So I like that very much. Uh, in the um, likely outcome of this first part of this, we have the fool. And so this is beginnings, and I think that's exactly where he's at. He thinks he's at beginnings of making this better uh, situation. And I said, uh, for the self of him, where is he? Who is he? And he comes up as the king of, of uh, wands, which is the king of action. So he expects to be able to make something happen. And a king uh, in the best of uh, situations is always looking out for his people. And uh, that was in the environment of a great big... Uh, uh, ace of coins so uh, really uh, directing the money and as a matter of fact uh, then we have the nine of coins uh, as the hopes and the fears which is lots of bounty lots of plenty uh, a lot uh, there to get this done with or to share with everyone and then it ends up with the six of uh, swords which is moving out of troubled water so moving out of uh, turbulence into something calmer into a, a better port so I think he's the real deal his heart I believe is in the right place well, I'm Mark. This has been My Journey Through Tarot. I'll be doing it again tomorrow if you want to go, so stop on by. Ciao for now.